Hi there, ladies. Welcome. And I am so excited to share this announcement with you today. And so I'm sharing this with you all as my personal clients, and I'm going to be sharing this to social media. So um, I'll, you'll hear me talk about things in different ways, just depending on who I'm talking to, of course, and I didn't want to do this twice. So we're doing it once, and I'm going to share it in multiple places, including, um, you know, the Explant Reset program. So um, I wanted to introduce to you today, Kimberly, who um, her gift is breath work. And so she's going to be coming into the program and doing group sessions with, with you all. And I think this is so exciting because I'm always teaching my clients about the importance of breathing and deep breathing and just kind of helping to instruct them on proper deep breathing. And Kimberly really takes us to a whole new level and really using it as a healing tool to heal your own body. And Kimberly is a certified breathwork therapist of 13 years, maybe even 14 now, uh, years. And once she experienced breathwork herself and discovered how it transformed her mind, body, and soul, she became dedicated to showing people how simply they can change their lives through breath. And I couldn't agree more. And she offers private and group breathwork sessions. And, and so, like I said, I'm excited to make the announcement today that we're bringing her into the Explant Reset program and offering the group breathwork um, sessions. We'll be doing this monthly as a part of the healing journey for you all. So we'll be starting this new addition to the program in March, which is obviously by the time you're seeing this, it's already March. Um, <laughs> And it will be no additional cost to you. It's just an addition that we're making to the program. And so we'll be doing this um, every month, the very first Wednesday of each month at 4.30 Pacific time. So that'll be 5.30 Mountain time, 6.30 Central time, 7.30 East Coast time. And the sessions will be recorded and shared for those clients of mine who are unable to join live. So if you happen to miss one, no worries, you'll get the recording and you'll be able to watch it on your own time. But I highly encourage you to join live because I think that's where you're going to get the most benefit is from having a guide in person. Well, technically in Zoom, but you know, it's as good, a, as close to in-person as we can get here. <laughs> And so I also wanted to share um, what Kimberly does, um, not only with my own tribe and clients, but also you know, with my followers on social media, because I really think that it is important that people know that healing is not just about detoxing or taking supplements. And breath work is a really powerful healing tool that we should all be utilizing and just learn how to tap into that innate healing power. And so Kimberly is going to expand a bit more on this in a moment, but I wanted to just share that Kimberly is, she's also personally experienced some of the work that I do with, with you all or with my clients. Um, she's worked herself on her own, you know, health struggles along the way and utilized a lot of this similar approach, similar, even product lines and things like that. So she's done a lot of drainage work and addressing parasites and stealth infections and mold and detox work and all of that. And so she really does get it. She understands what all of you ladies, and I'm speaking to you, um, those of you who are working with me, what all of you ladies are going through, what you're experiencing, the ups, the downs, the emotional stuff that comes up along the way as you're dealing with these sorts of issues. Um, and so I really think that this is the beauty of this collaboration is the fact that she can resonate with what you're experiencing and knows how to help through that with the breath work. And, um, and I've also done some breath work myself throughout my own healing journey through the years, and it is so powerful. And what I would say personally that I experienced is that anytime I focused on breath work, it just instantly shifted me from a sympathetic place to a parasympathetic place each time I implemented it. So anytime I felt like really overwhelmed or stressed or anxious or worried or fearful, I could lean on that tool and I could you know, start implementing that work and it just instantly calmed my body. So Kimberly, talk to us, tell us about a little bit about some of the benefits of breath work. Why should we all be doing this, using this as a healing tool? Yes. Well, thank you for having me and hello everyone. I, I look forward to working with all of you in group sessions. Um, well, you know, 15 years ago, I didn't have those products, right? I didn't have the funds to do anything like that. And I don't even know if binders and all that stuff was there then, but, um, so I had to, I had to heal myself through breathing and, um, 
it, after I did one breathwork session, I was 22 years old. Um, I sat up after the session and I was like, why aren't they teaching this in schools and churches and like everywhere? This, this is the most powerful work I have ever experienced. And I felt it, it, the session gave me so much hope to heal. And I felt like it dumped my whole, a whole lifetime of emotions mm -hmm. in just one session. So mm -hmm. if you have a breathwork therapist that you are drawn to and that you can trust to, to just hold a really safe and non-judgmental space for you to go there. Um, it's just an hour in 60 minutes, you will feel a total difference in the sessions. Um, I, I still think it's one of the most powerful tools I've, you know, that God's given us. <laughs> so oh, yeah. I, I love showing people. It's the only thing I've been totally obsessed with. I love showing people this gift. And then once, once you've gone through a group session, then, you know, like, you know how to get through it and breathing's for free. Mm -hmm. So you can, you, and, and we're all spending so much money on our health and detoxing and therapists and whatever it is that you're, you're, whatever modality you're using. And so once you have just a one or two sessions underneath you, then you'll be able to, to do this and be able to get through any emotional blocks that come, that come up during the session or any triggers, even in everyday life. Mm -hmm. So it's, mm -hmm. I, I just love it. So I'm super grateful that I get to share it with all of you. Awesome. I'm so excited too. And yeah, you know, things that I, um, talk a lot about with my clients are, you know, things like the fact that, you know, I, well, first of all, my top priorities for people are not even usually what you think. <laughs> they're not your diet. They're not exercise. They're not even detox. It's the foundation first. You know, it's, of course, you know, these things, the drainage and, and of course sleep, like you can't heal if you're not sleeping. Mm -hmm. Um, you can't heal if you're in a sick mindset, right? If you're, you're constantly feeding, um, neurofeedback pathways that are keeping you sick, you know, and then really recently, not really recently, but relatively recently, I would say, um, I started really focusing on the nervous system mm -hmm. and uh, so many of us who have gone down the path of experiencing chronic symptoms or chronic illness, being slapped with lots of diagnoses, never really understanding why we're sick, the root cause of why we're sick or root causes of why we're sick and solutions for how to heal. We end up going down this rabbit hole of just trying to find answers and trying to find answers and never really getting any help, truly like real solutions. And when we are in that place, I think a lot of us start here of fear and worry and doubt and, and not safe, like that feeling of I'm not safe. And I mentioned this to you yesterday too, when I was talking about a particular lady that I'm working with, and that is such a significant issue for I would say almost anyone de uh, dealing with chronic illness. Mm -hmm. And so I don't know if you have anything you would, you would add to that about how breath work can impact that, like not just that fight flight, but also just that it's like that, not, I'm not safe, you know? Yeah. And, and a lot of people from my experience and almost 15 years of watching people in breath work sessions, um, the, the, uh, the loneliness you know, it's, it can bring up a lot, a lot of loneliness because people don't understand what you're going through, even if it, you look healthy or, um, you know, it's just, it's hard to relate to. And then a lot of people could get PTSD or from mold or whatever it is that they're chronically going through. But, mm -hmm. um, so <clears throat> with what someone goes through and, you know, they just have to keep going in their life. They have to keep showing up, even though emotionally, they're going through a lot and maybe, maybe, maybe they have someone, maybe they don't have someone to really share how they're really doing. And so what happens when you lie down and just gently breathe for a full hour is you can really feel what your body's going through. And then it stirs up all those deeper emotions and hopelessness. And, um, let me think, what's the word I went through the last weekend despair. I mean, mm -hmm. if, if, if you, if you have been through that, where, it, I mean, it feels like the, you know, the mind comes in and then it's like, is it ever going to get better? Mm -hmm. And then when you lie down and breathe for an hour, 
um, it takes the fear and it turns it into ho- hope. Mm-hmm. Um, it takes the despair and it just, tr- it just transmutes it. I don't know what the word is, but it, it gives you with every breath that you're breathing, you're breathing into your cells mm-hmm. and it's just blasting you with all this life. Mm-hmm. And, and by the end of 60 minutes, just 60 minutes, you will feel the hope. So the beautiful thing about breath work is you just show up just as you are with your chronic symptoms or whatever's going on emotionally. And with every breath that you breathe, it does all the work for you. It's going to rewire your thoughts. You don't have to change your thoughts into positive affirmation or I'm healing or, you know, I'm going to do it. <sighs> like you're going to be with it. For, it's going to, it's going to take about 30 minutes of really gentle breathing And then it stirs up all the fear and the hopelessness and the despair or whatever it is that you're going through. And then by the end of the session, it's like your body will be talking to you. And it's like little whispers in your ear, like you got this, you're going to do it. You're you're right on track. You are safe. You are loved. You are protected. So it's, it's so beautiful to watch. And everyone by the end of 60 minutes, that's, that's what 60 minutes of breath work can do. And this, this type of breath work is really, really gentle. It's not forceful. It's just like, I'm just kind of taking you on a really gentle journey and you'll get really clear after 60 minutes. I love it. Now tell me you, you told, you talked about this just briefly yesterday. And I just wanted to have you share with everyone what you told me about how, what happens, what do we do? What, how are we breathing when we're in a state of fight or flight or stress or trauma, things like that. And the difference between how we respond and then, you know, just how babies breathe and animals breathe and that kind of thing. I love that. Yeah. So, so this type of breathing pattern we do in the session, it's very gentle inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. So it's a, it's a circular connected breathing pattern. And if you ever watch a baby breathe, they just, and you know, their lungs are tiny, but they, they just constantly flow with this breath. So it's like, you know, it's just, Mm -hmm. um, it's connected. It doesn't, doesn't stop. Um, if you watch an animal breathe, they, they rarely hold their breath. And then I shared when, like when my grandpa passed, I did a breath work session with him to clear his lungs because he was real, um, phlegmy and I wanted him to help help him breathe better before he left this planet. And, um, you know, just naturally when he's lying there in the bed, he's inhaling, exhaling, inhaling, exhaling. It's connected just like when they're babies. Mm -hmm. And, um, so this type of breathing technique that we do in the session, like, it's kind of like, you're going back to your, to your first breath in life and that, and that flow. And what happens when we get stressed, we're just constantly holding our breath. Mm -hmm. And, um, or, or even I was excited all day today and I've been holding my breath all day. Cause I'm so excited to, to hang out with you. And, <laughs> and I'm like, Oh my gosh, I need to breathe. I need to take five minutes to do some breath work. Cause I'm, I'm just kind of like so excited that I'm constricted in my body anyway. Yeah. So yeah. Did I answer that? Yeah. 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 Even excitement. I agree. Even excitement can be perceived as a stress on the body. Right. Right. <clears throat> and Um, let's see here. I'm thinking about how I generally describe it too. When thinking about, um, the nervous system and kind of that feeling of not being safe. And that's such a big deal for a lot of my clients and, um, just taking the time, like you were talking about taking that 60 minutes to just deep breathe and have that guidance along the way. It just instantly puts you into that parasympathetic state and it calms the nervous system. And when your nervous system is calm, then you can heal. You can tap into that healing, right? Yes, absolutely. We we can't heal if we're constantly like in fight or flight or constantly, you know, in survival mode. Yeah. Or busy Um, or, you know, we just, we keep so busy. It's, um, yeah. And in the breath work session, at least there's somewhere in there where everyone kind of falls asleep for two to five minutes. And I let them stay there because when was the last time you got to just float and just be still? Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah. Like <laughs> that's, where, that's where the body heals. I mean, yeah. I mean, it, yeah, 
you you do the breathing it stirs everything up all the deep emotions that maybe even can be stored in the organs or grief in the lungs or whatever's going on with you know someone and then eventually you get to that really relaxed space and then that's where i feel like all the healing really yeah. happens yeah we have so much you know we we none of us go through life unscathed we all have trauma you know from right. the past and some of it, some of it, you don't remember, so, you know, consciously remember anyway. Um, but your body remembers, oh, yeah. you know, and your organs and some of that can get trapped in your organs. So this is a really great gentle way to release trauma and yeah. work through it in a way that is not threatening or scary or anything like that. Yeah. And then in addition, I think about like some of the work that, that I do with people and you've been through some of this too, is just working on parasite work, which can also bring up a lot of emotion. Totally. And that's such a really interesting connection. There's a lot of mental, emotional kind of detox work needed alongside doing parasite work. Um, so I think this can be another helpful tool at any point in that journey where you're like, what is this? You know, what is coming up here? I don't even know why this is happening. Um, but it can just really help you kind of process all of that and release. Absolutely. Yeah. I've, I've done uh, numerous parasite cleanses and I did it before even doing phase one, which is like a total no, no. And, um, I'm like, well, I got breath work. I'm just going to breathe through the emotions. And, you know, I didn't really understand parasites until that first full moon kit. <laughs> and, and those, bu those buggers, they, they have really, really negative. They can really mess with your mind. Oh yeah. And so when, it's there, it's almost like demonic or something, you know, it's just like the hopeless thoughts, you know, when they're dying, they're dying off. My thoughts are very hopeless. And I'm like, what's going on here? And then I'm like, oh yeah, I'm on a parasite cleanse. And then yeah. you know, I just find yeah. the breath, you know, just get the breath, the breathe, the breathing going down through the body, even just for a few minutes. It yeah. Just helps. yeah. And that's another interesting point. The full moon. Um, so many people, don't feel like themselves during the full moon, like leading up yeah. to it a few days before, during, and maybe even a few days after. Yeah, and I, 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 I see people posting about it every once in a while. And like, um, I don't, I don't think they've made the connection that uh -huh. it's a parasite issue. Yeah. 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 I never, I, I, I'm like, gosh, dang it. A full moon's coming. I know I'm not going to get very good sleep. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm just like super ultra, like energized until like one in the morning. It's just so annoying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, pe not everyone's going to know what I'm talking about when I say this, but I took, <laughs> I'm going to say this anyway, because yeah. I like to give it as an example of like what's possible. Um, for me, like towards the end of my parasite work, I did the craziest full moon challenge. I high dosed all the paras, including para, I did a whole bottle of para three in three wow. days. Whoa. I just was like downing it, downing it. And I felt fabulous. I was like, all right, <laughs> I think I'm done here. <laughs> I think I'm going to try that. <laughs> <laughs> it, it can be intense. You're brave. But for me, I was just towards the end of my work and I was like, I'm just going to bang this out real quick. <laughs> you are brave. <laughs> I know I tend to do that. I tend to be really aggressive with myself, but anyway, not, that's just another example of how, how breathwork can be a helpful mm -hmm. tool. So just looking at some of the other things, just to make sure we kind of touched on all the possible okay. um, ways it can impact you. So helps release patterns. Is that like um, habitual thoughts or? Um, it can be anywhere from <clears throat> very deeply rooted beliefs about yourself, um, all going all the way back from your conception, your womb experience or your birth. Um, mm -hmm. And so something I do uh, that's, a little bit off subject is um, I take people through these breathwork sessions where we go over what it was like, your womb life was like. Mm -hmm. And so we can't, when we're in the womb, we're learning everything from our mom. You know, we're learning everything about relationships, money, support, where was anyone there for her? Did someone pass while you, while you were in the womb? I mean, mm -hmm. so we start downloading these patterns even in the womb. So that's something that I specialize in. Like, like you said, um, a lot of your clients, for example, maybe they have had anxiety their whole life, or they're like, I've had this my whole life or a pain in their neck, their whole life, um, fight or flight their whole life. Well, 
I bet if we go back to the birth and if something ha happened, like if, if they had a traumatic birth or the doctor reach in, reached in and hurt them, um, it can stem that far back. So that's why breath work mm -hmm. is so powerful. It can help clear that far back from patterns. Yeah. Well, it just makes me so excited because I'm, as you're saying this, I'm thinking about all of the things that I know my clients struggle with. And I'm just like, oh, this yeah. person is going to really benefit in this way. And yeah. this person in that way. And I'm just thinking, oh my gosh, I I'm just so excited. But, um, yeah, like it just reminds me, cause I have one client and I'm not going to say names here or anything that might give away her identity, but I have a client who has this long, long, long standing history of migraines daily for like almost her entire life. And then her mom also same thing. And so it's kind of like this pattern within the family, but that makes me wonder since you're saying that if this could be something else entirely. Yeah. I mean, it, yeah. So, so like, let's say we, we were doing a little bit of processing in a group session, you know, cause I'm sure we'll talk about symptoms and stuff. Um, something that I'd, I'd love to do even with the group, if they were open to it is like, let's, let's kind of go back to before the migraine started, you know, maybe she was two when she had her first migraine or however long, you know, so kind of going that far back, it does also help emotionally. I mean, breath work, breath work helps with the deep, deep stored emotions. And mm -hmm. that's why I, I love it so much. Yeah. I mean, like if you, if you can't do cell core and you can't take certain supplements, and I'm, I, from what I've witnessed for the last almost 15 years, a lot of it's emotional, mm -hmm. you know, our, from being, you know, in the womb or when we were born or in the first like few years of our life. And so, you know, most traditional therapy only takes you back to maybe when you were two or three. So this goes all the way back mm -hmm. and that's why it's so big. And, um, it can be, you know, triggering to go that far back because we can feel that the pain in our body and how, you know, um, but your the, the group will be, it's such a safe place. Um, and, and once we just, once we, if you just show up, it's, it, it still works, but, um, you'll just feel so much better after 60 minutes. Okay. And so other impacts gently release chronic symptoms um, relax and calm your nervous system. We talked about that dissolve stressors from the body makes you feel safe. We talked about that opens up your detox pathways, supports lymph drainage. So like, that's always the first step, right? Yeah. Is drainage yeah. pathways. So that's great. Yeah. Within, um, within just a few minutes of doing mm -hmm. breath work, I'm, I start to sweat. I sweat. And it makes sense too, to think about like, even just bowel movements, like helping yeah. to like open up that pathway because we hold so much tension. Right. Right. Here, you know, in so, our abdomen, I have a, um, a breast implant illness, uh, breathwork client and she's on several medications right now. And, um, she can't, she can't, she's constipated like all the time. And so she, in her first breathwork session, um, she had seven bowel movements within 10 minutes. I mean, she, after the session, Wow. so we just focused sending some really gentle breaths into her belly and nourishing her organs. And then man, she was just so happy that she had that many movements just yeah. right after the session. It's amazing. Yeah. And amazing. then well, like the next, and then the next week, cause I breathe her weekly. Um, the next week she got constipated from it. I did push her a little bit harder. I want, mm -hmm. um, but, but I said, well, we don't know what kind of toxins are releasing. Cause I don't know. I mean, mm -hmm. maybe you would know, but, um, she got a little bit constipated, but then she, you know, it, it got better, but so it just, it does whatever it needs to for the individual yeah. in the moment. Great. So, Yeah. And then, so thing, other things like gently dissolve, you know, deep stored emotions from childhood. We touched on that, helping to dissolve fight flight from toxic womb, um, healing the, the heart from past pain, mm -hmm. um, helps you feel a calming balance from within, gives you natural energy and emp it's empowering as well. So, I mean, all of these things, who wouldn't benefit from all of those things? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Pretty much <Yeah>. everybody. <laughs> yes. Um, so I love that. And so then let's see here, you share already shared a couple of examples of how breathwork has impacted your clients. So that was really wonderful to hear. I think everyone can benefit from hearing some testimonies and mm -hmm. just, you know, how it's benefited other people. 
And so do you want to just, um, is there anything else you wanted to add? Otherwise we'll talk about, you know, where people can find you if they want to book a session with you. Yeah. Um, I guess the only thing I would want to add is just like, I just shared just a moment ago. Um, the, the breath work, it brings you exactly what you need in the moment. So no matter what you're going through, no matter what symptoms, the emotions, whatever is going on in your life, it, when you breathe and lie down for an hour, um, you just see everything clearly. You're like, oh, okay. You know, and then yeah. you can make the change. And so mm -hmm. it's just, uh, I've seen a lot of people just blast off with their health, their businesses, whatever, after one 60 minute session. So it, yeah. it just, it's, it may be something that you're really like looking for or praying for, you know, mm -hmm. when you're going on this journey or just mm -hmm. being here on this planet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. And maybe something your body create is craving, mm -hmm. you know? Okay. So wonderful. So the, um, link to join the group calls for those of you who are clients of mine will be available in the Explant reset program. Um, that's where it's going to live in the online, uh, program. And then there will also be a link to Kimberly's website to where, if you want to book a one-on-one -on -one session with her, you can do that. Um, if you want to go even deeper and get even more like personal guidance. And then for those of you who are not working with me, I, you can still access Kimberly. And so I'd love for you to just share where people can find you. Yeah, you can go to my Instagram, breathe underscore with underscore Kimberly underscore Rose <laughs> or uh, breathe with Kimberly Rose.com. And you can reach out to me there. Uh, my link is in my bio and my calendar's on there. So um, if you'd like, you know, group sessions are still so powerful, but one on ones are out of this world. They're, they're yeah. just, it's all about you. So you get a full hour to just, spill it all out, get it out off your chest, out of your body. And then you breathe for an hour. So, um, and then I have tons of free breath work on my Instagram, breathe with Kimberly Rose and YouTube. I have, so I know it's expensive to be on this healing journey and mm -hmm. detoxing and doing everything that you're doing now. And so, um, I've made a ton of free breath work. Um, I have at least 10 free breath work sessions. I've got free breath work down through my feed on my Instagram to help support you. And I've got like five, 10 minute breathers here and there through the feed. So okay. it'll, it'll really help. Okay, great. Thank you so much yeah. for sharing that. And, um, I just look forward to the work that you're going to be doing. Um, and thank you so much for, for being on board with jumping in and helping oh, and just sharing I, your gift. Absolutely. <laughs> I, I love showing people this tool. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so excited. All right, ladies. So, um, I think that's all for today. And, um, thanks again, Kimberly, for joining us today yeah, and, and helping you. me announce this. And, um, I look forward to talking with you again soon. All right. Thank you. I can't wait to meet everyone. Thanks so much. All right. Bye ladies. Mm -hmm.